Alrighty, how y'all doing? Doing good, hopefully. And if not, well, let's change that, shall we? Um, sorry I haven't been on in a while. Been having some technical issues that I've had to deal with, particularly the monitor. I just had to switch that out for something more. Like I had widescreen before and that was causing issues with certain games. So I need to go down to a 1920 by 1080 monitor. Hopefully the change isn't jarring for you and it should be better for you guys. So hopefully it's good. All right, today, at least for a few days, maybe for a week, who knows, I'm gonna try and get into Empyrean for a while. And I'm not going to do the survival game. I'm actually going to uh, create stuff. Uh, why do we have a tutorial here? Let's delete that. Yes. Let's go into the garage first. Um, yeah, I intend to kind of like try and make some spaceships based on stuff that I've written in my novel. And for those of you who are familiar with my novel, uh, we can't really make those ships in this game, in really any game, because of the way that I've described them. Um, well, let's take time down to zero so it doesn't continue advancing. You know, for example, like a lot of single seat fighters in the in the in the book have a, a piloting core on the inside and then the ship kind of it like it's inserted into a ship and then oh the whole thing's armored up and there's no canopy or anything like that. So obviously most space games already cannot support that kind of ship. But we'll kind of like use that those designs as a starting off point for what we're going to do today here in uh, Empyrean. And um, so yeah, so I've, I've made a couple of ships ready just to kind of get familiar with the uh, the building system. And this is the first one, well not the first one, but like this is one of the first few I've made. I call it the Orbis Ranger. And it's supposed to be a very simple open seat hover vessel. Just to allow you to like cruise around the planet that you're on. It should be very, very cheap. And it's got very bare bones equipment. Um, as you can see, you can see all the components up here. So you can reach into it if you need to. Here's your O2 tank, your fuel tank, and your generator. As well as like your scanning device and hover engines and Oh, what are these called? Repulsor engines. And that'll keep you kind of off the ground. Now, another feature of this is that it's mostly made out of carbon substrate. And the only steel parts are kind of these little plates in the bottom to make sure that you don't... Like, if you hit the ground, it won't do much damage to your, to your vessel. Here, let's... Um, Let's hop in and drive around, just so you can see. So it's relatively maneuverable, and it's relatively fast, even though it doesn't have so many... Uh, oh, can't go that way. Whoa. I don't know what genius decided to put all these trees in front of your base. It's like, you can't just leave. Like You have to like navigate your way through all this. Now this thing doesn't have weapons, unfortunately, so you can't you can't really kill stuff with it. It's really just meant to be like your beginner hover vessel, just for cruising around on the planet and then you know taking care of stuff. Um, get off. Please stop ship. Yeah, yeah, it's already stopped. Let me out. Thanks. It's really meant for you to like cruise around, and then you can like you know do your stuff as you as you cruise, like you know. That's, it's nothing it's nothing fancy. It's meant for beginners. And it should be relatively cheap. So yeah, the Orbis Ranger, yeah, like look at this. The resources amount that you, you need for this ship is very, very minimal. And anyone like on day one can get all this stuff. Yeah, pretty easily. Except maybe the copper, that's a lot of copper. But that's only because there's a lot of um, electronics in here. 
So there's the ranger. I plan to publish this on the workshop at some point. I just need to do. I just need to put the work on it. I'll I'll do it today. I should actually publish right now. And whoop whoop. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's get this up here. Back in its parking space. And you'll notice it's got these like little lights on the side so that if you're if you're far away or if you're like outranging and stuff, you're like, where'd I put my ship? You can kind of see it through the lights. Here, let's let's demonstrate by making it nighttime. And you can see you can still kind of see it even through the darkness. Just a little bit, just so you can kind of go, ah, I'm over here like zapping this rock, and then where's where's my I can't oh, there it is. You know, like that that sort of thing. It's just for identification, easier identification. Um, it's very simple and very sleek, and that's really all that matters. Uh, it's also got a headlight down here that you can see in the night at night. Uh, da -da -da, lights. But again, no no weapons. If you want weapons, you could mount it up here or you know back here if you want. But then that will block your access to the fridge and to the cargo box, which you don't... I mean, you could... Like, you could always access it through this menu. Oops, I need to, uh... I need to auto-group those. Yes. You could always access stuff through here, but it's always better for you to physically be able to just access whatever you want at any given time uh, while in your first-person mode view thing. Bring this back to morning. Yeah, let's um, let's go ahead and publish this. This should brains public, airtight, not airtight. As you can see, this thing is an open seat, so not at all airtight. Uh, we'll make a better thumbnail for this guy later. Um, I also made this guy. This is the first one I've ever made, and it's kind of um. So when you first start creative in this garage area, there's a ship here. There's a hover ve vehicle here. And it looks kind of like a uh, a race car. I wanted to, I borrowed design cues from this vehicle to build this one. Because I wanted to understand how, the, how it all kind of comes together. And this thing is also relatively cheap. And as you can see, it's got the same design cues that I that you know you have access to your ammo your fuel a container controller which you can assign whatever you want in there and a fridge it behaves relatively similarly i think it's a little bit faster and more agile than that guy but this one also costs more and i don't think i'm going to publish this because there's no point to publishing it like you already have that which the game gives you, so don't, don't, yeah, not gonna bother with this. Um, yeah, so there's this guy, which I may change stuff up. Like, like you see how there's this design here. I may do the same except in the other direction, like leaving slots open here so that you can access the equipment and then closing the top portion. But me personally, I like seeing all your devices from the for the pilot seat. Um, just it's just there's just something about that rawness, that openness, that just that. Okay, let's just fly up with our god mode. There's just some something more aesthetically pleasing about seeing this from the pilot seat. Like it gives you a sense that you are riding a vessel that is. I don't know. Not necessarily slapdash, but it's more, I don't know, engineered for you. That's just still how I feel. Now, the only other ship I've made is a small small vessel, a starfighter. It's not great. Here, let's actually switch over to it. Uh, da, da, da. That's out in the shipyards here.
And what I intend to do... Whoop, here's the Orbis Sky Dancer. Which... Let's turn on our lights. Let's get a little flight model stuff going on. It's very simple. Um, and it's again, it's using the same cockpit view because I want it to like seem... Because this thing's uh, sleek faster than normal. The other cockpits are three wide, and this one's only two wide, which appeals to me very much. Um, here, let's turn on power so you can see lights. Well, there's lights heading out that way so you can see better. It's a little bit chunky. Well, it's not chunky. It just seems chunky just because it's very compact. But it's got most of the things you need, a couple of weapons, it's got storage, it's got... Yeah. Uh, what's my device is at? Yeah, it's got a fridge. It has... where's cargo? One, only one cargo box. And one ammo box. Which is fine, it's really all you need if, you have, if it's a single seat fighter. And what's... Important about both of these is they're here's the Ranger, which is unlocked at level three, so newbies can have it anytime. This is unlocked at level seven, um, which again, new players can unlock. Seven's a really easy level to get, so and like these components are very simple to unlock. Um, so small vessel, yeah, level seven here, although. Not sure why it needs level. Oh, because of medium thrusters. So the reason why it's level seven is because of medium thrusters. Um, otherwise, most of the ship is buildable with anything before that. Yeah, this is the only level seven technology it uses. And you can see that there's actually six medium thrusters in the rear, and four medium thrusters in the front for to act as retro thrusters. It only has small thrusters for uh, maneuvering thrusters. And there's only six of them, three per side. There's four small thrusters on the top and, whoop, and six small thrusters in the bottom. So it's fairly maneuverable. Here, let's actually, let's get in. Yeah, our max speed yeah, is about 130 meters per second. Uh, that's probably a limitation of something that I'm not exactly sure of. But if we go sideways, we can go 78. If we go up, thrusting upwards is 130. That's weird. Six mediums is equal to six smalls. That's, that doesn't seem right to me. Anyways, just probably to be fast and you got oop, no ammo. Let's need some ammo. Is it cannon? No, meeting gun. Do, 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 do. Access to that and put the ammo in here. Oh, and there's this weird thing is happening where you see those lights that are sh like flaring up. Don't know why it's showing up there. It's basically those two lights are right, at, at, right in front of us. Let's um, let's turn those off because we don't need it. All right. So I'm trying to fire the weapons, but they're not firing. Maybe I have the wrong ammunition. Anyway, so there's this. It's still got kinks to obviously work through, so I'm not going to publish it yet, but I'm going to publish it soon, once I do. Alright, come down, land. Now, it doesn't have the same um, design language that I used with the uh, Ranger. That's okay, this is just like me playing around with the... Uh, the pieces. What we're going to do is create a ship. 
a small space fighter to kind of represent the the Federation, the D-ranked Federation fighter. Um, we can build over here. Whoop. Let's take off God mode. Okay, first off, we have all this crap in our inventory, which we don't really need. Let's um, let's get rid of this. Let's uh, open the fresh. I mean, we will need some of this, but we won't need all of this. It was small. I'm probably doing it this, this the uh, extremely slow way. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Shift click. Shift click. And we want uh, small vessel parts. Let's see. We need. We're gonna need an bleh. Can't talk. We're gonna need an RCS. Um, we're gonna need weapons. That's a turret. We don't need a turret. We're gonna need steel blocks. Just regular steel blocks is fine. We're going to need carbon composite blocks. What we're going to do is we're going to create a structural shape with the carbon composite to keep it light, and then the steel steel blocks on the outside to give it some protection. Uh, we're going to need a generator. We need a fuel tank. We're going to need an O2 tank, though. I thought there was a larger O2 tank for this guy. Guess not. So tank, fridge, railgun, Gatling. Let's do a Gatling because it's cheaper to get. Uh, let's do small thrusters. We don't need the small generator because we've got a large generator. Although, now let's let's go with this, the large generator. Um, let's see where the unlock for the large generator is. Intaxid tank. Okay, we're gonna very we're definitely gonna need landing gear, so that's level five. Uh armored cockpit, we're okay. Okay, so large generator is here, level three. So I think the D ranked fighter is going to be here in level seven again. Because we're probably gonna end up using medium thrusters for the rear. Everything else will be yeah, yeah, before level seven. We don't really need short range warp drive. No, we're okay. That's hard. Jet thrusters, thruster large. No. Energy in 36 PU, 32 PU. Do we need a better CPU? Actually, that might be a good question is, do we need a large generator? I think it's probably better to have a large generator. But that way, if you do end up using the um, this design, you can upgrade it and do whatever you need to to it. And it'll, it should still have plenty of power. OK, uh, rail. No, I think Gatling Gun's fine for us right now. Like dipping into the bigger, better weapons, just it's just more levels. So like having an early game fighter is nice to have. One where you can store your stuff in, right? That's that's really what matters. So let's get that. Oops. Where were we at? We were at here. Uh we already have a large fuel tank. Artificial mass. I don't think we need this. And again, like you see like here, these for artificial mass blocks are really for balancing the ship because you want your center of gravity to be kind of where you're sitting so that when you maneuver, it doesn't feel weird, you know? You definitely don't want it to like to your right or to your left. 
And if it's too far forward or too far back, then the ship will dip or pitch uncontroll not uncontrollably, but against your will necessarily. Uh, we're going to need... Yeah, M thrusters. We're going to need cores. Because we're going to replace where the core is. Flare, we don't need thrusters. Uh, do we want a passenger seat? No. Not really. We want, it, we want this to be relatively inexpensive. Uh, we don't need truss blocks. Shutters. We need a cockpit. LCD screens. Ooh. Uh, we're going to need landing gears. Lights. We don't need a core. Do you do we want an arbor locker? That could be beneficial. But what level are armor lockers? Or would that be under base? Yeah, so also, oh, level 5. So that's not bad. We could put an armor locker there. Um, that wouldn't be a bad thing to have, except it's really more of a... It's really more of an interior place, you know, like for a base, rather than for a ship, for that, rather than a small ship. You can put it on there, but I don't know. I feel like that's. Yeah, no, let's not do that because I don't think a small vessel, a D ranked fighter, is going to have an armor closet necessarily, or armor. What do you call that? Armor locker. Okay, destroyed. Nope, don't need that. Advanced core. We don't need a warp drive. We could. We probably should put one of these in here. What's the warp drive unlock? Jeez, I am so unfamiliar. I haven't played this game in forever, and I only have like 60 hours in this, so I'm not super familiar. So, oh, we need Pentaxid for a warp, so let's, let's not bother with that. Because realistically, um... I don't actually see the warp drive on here. Oh, there is level ten. Yeah, well, we could find Pentaxid before level ten, but we we have to, right? If this thing unlocks at level ten, then yes. Uh, the problem is, is it necessary? The mobile constructor is not a bad idea, but I think that's better on a hover vessel than on a small vessel. Okay, uh, force fields, we don't need that. Wireless connection, that might be really useful. We need a detector. We, uh, we want... Ammo box, we're going to want a regular cargo controller. And we're going to want... Ventilator. We probably want this, huh? Our damaged RCS. Uh, da, 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 da. What am I looking for? I'm looking for. Okay, we're gonna fridge tank. There's something else that we need here. Oh, I know. Um, where is it? Is it here? Yes, it is here. We're going to need a small vessel starter.
I feel like I'm missing something. There's something important that we need here. Got RCS. Do we need, oh, a CPU? Or like extra, extra CPU? Boy. You could do this too, a wireless connection, although not really necessary. Yeah, there we go, CPU extender, uh, T2. Do we need this guy? Unlock level seven? Let's bring it along just in case. Okay. Let's get our guildy block on. Okay, here's how I like to build stuff. Like the reason I do that is because, okay, let's actually de demonstrate. If we just place this block, which is what you need to create a small vessel, it'll eventually fall and it'll hit the ground. And then building around it becomes kind of difficult because if you, if things are unbalanced, here, let's actually, let's demonstrate. Let's use a, a long cockpit. So if you put a long cockpit on there, it will. You're going to fall at some point, dude? No, you're not going to do it. <laughs> It usually falls. Maybe it doesn't because it's space. No, I've had it fall before. Uh, let's see. Power. Nope. Don't know why it's not falling. It usually falls. Like through through the uh the floor. Let's um Actually, let's look at, if you go debug and then show center of mass, you'll see that it's kind of far forward and too, a little bit skewed because, all right, let's take it off. Like you'll see it's kind of, it's far, it's forward and to the right because of this, this amount of space. Um, It normally, it's usually falls long before this, but honestly, let's just, it's not doing it for us. So let's just, oops, yes, part selection, that one, delete up. Okay, go away. Okay, okay let's get back to what we were doing. It usually falls over, it falls down, it like hits the ground and then like tips out if it's unbalanced. Don't know why it wasn't doing it that time, but um, sure. So this is what I usually do. I usually put something above me. And before it falls, I put down these to help it stay up in a way. When it does fall, we have a platform to which to build on. When when it when it falls, come on, game. Okay, fine. Maybe this only happens on the planet, but I'm pretty sure it's happened here before. Like I've lost stuff through through the floor and it falls all the way down. Don't know why it's not doing it now, but sure. Also, when you're putting this down, the arrow is the direction you are building towards. Like if that's that's you want your cockpit to be facing in that direction. At some point this is gonna fall and we'll be like, oh. Okay, now to simulate a Federation cockpit, a Federation core. We'll use cockpit one. 
I think it's the best one so far. Maybe the cockpit seven. Oh, this thing is. This thing is chunky. Is that good? Okay, and to prevent it from like tipping over in any given direction, we'll do this too. Two, three, four. And this is purely temporary. This is just so that when it does fall and we start start putting stuff on it, it doesn't you know. Doesn't fall through the ground, through the floor. Because it will. It will. Let's actually fill. Oh, we can't fill it because it doesn't have a tank. Okay, now. Assuming that... So ignore everything below the cockpit. Essentially all this stuff is, is a placeholder. And actually what we should do is put... A different core here so that we have an actual center point. Um, you can do this by the way. You can have multiple cores and then destroy all the other cores that you don't need. At least you should be able to. I know we used to be able to, I used to be able to do that. But it's not letting me do that now. Maybe I have to destroy the old one first. And to do that, we use this gun and do it on either retrieve or salvage. There we go. Now it no longer has a core, and we can place the core anywhere else we want. I'd rather have it be there rather than the bottom because you want this thing to be protected. Okay. Now we've got those two. Let's add our RCS. Let's add our computer. Do we need a computer? No, we don't need a computer. Uh, we need a CPU extender. That's what we need. This, we can just trash that. We're gonna need these things next. That one's not so necessary. Uh, ventilator, which will add, which has to be connected to this. Uh, generator. Yeah. So to kind of simulate. So in the books, the the piloting cores um, have the power source of the ship, the navigation systems of the ship and the communication systems of the ship. And you can insert that into any chassis, which only usually contain this, the weapons, this, you know, any, any repair systems. Oh, and also the core also has the, uh, the uh, what do we call that? Life support, although this game doesn't really have life support. All it has is oxygen. So we're, we're gonna simulate that with this. So what we'll do is, Try and attach that, attach those things to this cockpit, and then build around it. Um, the RCS, we can put that down here. It annoys me that it's not falling down. Like I want to start over now, like with it down there, but it's okay. It's, it's alright. It doesn't matter. Um. Now, does this CPU thing have to be... I don't think it does, but let's put the CPU here. I was thinking like maybe it should be attached to the uh, core. Maybe it does. Let's, let's get rid of this. Let's remove the RCS too. Uh, six. Let's put that here, 
and the RCS here. That way they're kind of connected to each other. Now, let's see. Uh, do we need the wireless connection right now? I think no. Let's do this guy and this guy. And where's our containers? I feel like there's a bigger O2 tank. But maybe not. Funny how the O2 tank is not airtight. But you know what? Whatevers. Quatevers. Let's put... Where do we put you? Let's put you here in the center. And you here. Next to the O2 tank. Where you need to be. Get rid of these. And it's okay if they're not connected. According to this, everything that's been built around the core belongs to the core. And you can verify that by going here to debug and doing this auto detect parts. Yes. And as you can see, it detects all these things as part of this core or as part of this, uh, this, this core. Nope, don't want to delete. We just don't want it to. How do we undo? There we go. So again, if this falls down to the, the platform there, then it won't tip over and it won't like destroy itself, which is bad times. Okay, now let's do. Like we've already used all this stuff. Let's go with the fuel tank. Fuel tank and generator. Now, how where are we gonna place these two? The problem is they're like this. You know, they're like they're length two. Could put them here like this so generator there or sorry fuel tank there generator there and we can put something else in the in the center there like a detector Oop. Yeah, that's not bad. And that should mean our... Um, if we check center of mass, we're going to show us as far forward, yeah. Just because of this structure. Otherwise, we're like centered left and right, so that's all right. That's good. We keep going. Let's turn this off because it's distracting. I wonder if I should move this. Now, another thing we can do is put armor around these parts, uh, but that will weigh your 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 final design down. We don't really want to do that. We could put carbon substrate around them, just to kind of help keep them nice and tidy. But for now, let's just let's keep it. Open and empty. Uh, let's see. Let's do do do. We've done this. We need our containers. 
which honestly, these containers go into the outer section of the ship, so we can hang up, hang back on those. Trash that. Oh yeah, the wireless connection. Let's put that on here. Sorry, just reorganizing everything, just to kind of separate what we've used and what we haven't used. All right. Now, another thing to note is that in the game, the fighters are like 20 meters long, and we can't really do that in this game uh, because the scale is just totally different. Um, so we're going to have to kind of like compress everything down quite a lot. Uh, we'll assume that these are roughly one meter. They're not, they're not one meter. They're like a quarter of a meter. I think each block of four, I think that's maybe, maybe that's one meter. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what the measurements of these things are. Does it say? The build system here is very similar to uh, Space Engineers, but there it was very clear that small blocks were one meter and, and so on. Like it was, it's very clear what size those are. I'm not sure what size these are. Here, let's look at this. This door might give us an idea. I think... Like, this would be, what, like, roughly three meters? And so those blocks, these blocks would probably be, yeah, one meter. Right? Okay, now we can wrap this up in carbon substrate, or we can move this because I think this feels out of place, right? Yeah, it feels a little out of place, like sitting behind it. So let's move it. Same with the extender. Let's also move the RCS and the O2 deck. I think shift. Okay, I thought it was shift left, but I was just trying to auto destroy, but it wasn't working. Wasn't working. All right, let's get. Do, do, do this. 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 All right, so where do we put these now? Let's put. Put the core here, and what else do we need here? I thought there was something. Oh, a um, a CPU thing. Got an O2 tank and ventilator needs to be next to each other. So let's put that here next to the fuel tank. Cause you know, if you're going to blow up, you're going to blow up. Nothing you can do about it. And then the ventilator, let's put the RCS right here. Okay, are we missing anything? Mm, no, I think we're good. 
So we put um, this guy here, the wireless connection, just in case you want it, because why not? Um, let's see. Anything else? What else is good here? I think we're all good here. We could put the contain the base container controller here. I think that's not a bad idea. And we could rename this, I believe. I just don't remember how exactly. Oh, in this. Not this, this. We could rename that here if we want. Start a device for cargo array, uh, add container extension devices, etc., etc. Don't really need to do anything. Remote connect via logistics. So F4. I forget how this honestly works. So sorry. But there, you have your container. And the base core. I feel like we should move this back one. So it's you know what? No, it's fine. He's fine. Let's delete these. I feel like I want to center this. Where's our center of mass? Yeah. Let's move this here. Oops, I did something, something odd. Yeah, I'm not sure what. And this is purely, purely so that if it falls to the ground, it won't just clip through by being unbalanced. I'll try and recreate that with the point I keep talking about. But it, it happens to me often, so often that I have to like do this. Like creating a uh, framework with which to build things on is super invaluable. Uh, okay, so I think our core is pretty much solid. This is everything that the ship really needs. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, did um. Did it freeze? No. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Now let's build. Do we move this back? Really unsure about that. All right, let's put some carbon substrate down just to kind of square things up. Now we could put things around this to like armor it. Like uh, we can put steel blocks perhaps like around here just to make sure that it is nice and solid. But that makes it, again, heavier. And we don't really need that. I feel like if your ship has been shot into, past the armor, past the, the shape of it, then you're already done, <laughs> right? There's no point in putting armor around this cockpit if your outer armor is already has already been um, compromised. It means you can't really fly the ship anymore. So anyways... Let's uh let's continue shaping it out. Oops. Not with steel, but with carbon. We probably want this to be steel. And actually Yeah, because we're gonna be steel out here.
Do we want a layer of carbon down here below? Hmm. All right, let's 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 do this for now and see what happens. Okay, now um let's see what's next here. I think now we start designing the actual ship itself, right? We're going to want these, all the rest of these at some point. Um, really, we're going to do with the shape. We probably want it to like flare out. Let's add this, just so we're covered up. So we want to have some amount of wings, right? We want it to kind of like be like this. To some degree, and then have the ship kind of... The steel section of the ship kind of go out. Um, we probably want it to like extend out to... Out here. And we want our engines to... Also go out similarly. It's not... Well, it's kind of a small ship, isn't it? We want it to be relatively luxurious in terms of space. We probably want it to go out a little bit further. Not quite sure. Part of me wishes that I was playing Pal World like every other streamer in the world and every other YouTuber, but you know what? Not too interested in that game. Um, apologies if that's your thing. Really, the only thing we're doing left is the shape of this. Now, hold on, do we need... Oops. Turn that off by accident. I don't think we need anything else. We got spotlights. The rest of this is really like Decor. Do we add a short range warp drive? I think we do. Oops. But instead of attaching it to the core, we want to attach it to the chassis. Okay, yeah, I think we're pretty good. Because we don't need things like hover thingies. <laughs> now, the question is, how many thrusters do we need in the rear? Because, you know, obviously the more things we pile onto the ship, the heavier and more demanding it will be. Okay, let's say we add six. Here, let's actually start doing the, thrust, the rear thrusters. Now let's do slant. That's not bad, yeah? If we can have like wings like flare out this way. Now if we're gonna have six on this on the rear here, we're gonna want at least four in the front. 
So let's do the same thing. Kind of. This is too short. Those are okay there, I think. Although we could pull it forward one. Yeah, let's do that. Put those there, and then these guys, side ones can go here. Cool. We can also put our lights down below it. Let's reserve that for now. Uh, let's see. Actually, I kind of want to make it more symmet symmetrical. Maybe we pull these forward even more. It's gonna be. This is gonna use a lot of carbon. That's okay. Carbon's relatively easy to get. You can get it any on any planet. It is abundant. You just gotta do the farming for it, right? All right. There we go. And we can put these two here, maybe. Great. How does that look from the inside? Not bad. You can't even see. You can't even see these. So that works. I'm not sure how powerful this is going to be. But oh well. Now, I also want to do. Probably four maneuvering thrusters on each side, and six bottom and top. We don't need mediums for those, we can just do uh, smalls. Go. Nope, not quite. There we go. All right, where do we put these guys though? Where's our center of gravity or center of mass? Like here? Yeah. What is? What am I doing here? Like, why am I? What is? What is this? I need to probably reset that. Whatever I'm doing with like with that thing needs to change because uh maybe here. This probably needs to come out further. Um, now that I think about it. So let's do. Like that. So this guy here, one, two, right at the center, and then two, three, five. Okay. That should give us pretty good side to side uh, thrust. We're also going to want top to bottom, so we can have... Although, where am I going to put these, right? Maybe we only deal with four. Four on top, four on the bottom. I don't know, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Maybe you do center line.
Okay, we have a bit of a problem. I think we need to lower these thruster slants, these thrusters. Either that or raise the the pilot seat, the cockpit. Alternatively, we could put them in the center, like I said, like here and here, like that. This one can be similarly here and here. It's not bad, I suppose. It's not terribly balanced, so like you can't roll properly. Mm, I don't like that. Like what I mean is like it is probably better if they are spaced out like this. So when you do roll, there's a lot more responsiveness because your center of gravity is down the middle. Whereas if you just line them up, attempting to roll will be really slow. So maybe instead of that, we put them here. Yeah, I like this better. And we could put these actually here. Maybe here. We put these in the bottom, this side. I like having the uh, the little danger warning arrow on the outside. For some reason, it's just it tickles me. Once out that way. Let's put one here, another one here. Ooh, they're like askew. So let's change that. Let's actually put them here, right? Yeah. And then we can do something similar and put these up here. Or no, let's put them here. <sighs> Maybe the problem is the design of this cockpit. Um, the reason why I say that is because it's like this section here, this automatically makes us want to slope it downwards, right? Makes us want to go inwards. Let's look at other designs real quick. That guy's, that's a large boy. So maybe this one might be better. It is smaller though. And it kind of throws off. And it's got a rounded back, which I'm not keen of. I feel like the one we've chosen so far is more aggressive. Let's see, this guy's a big chunky boy. That's chunky. The legacy ones are nice too, but I think Cockpit 7 is the most design appropriate one. It's just, it doesn't quite fit well. I think we're gonna have to settle with five. That's okay, I suppose. Yeah, I think that I guess that fits better since it's right on top of our uh, stuff. And I want the bottom and bottom and top thrusters to kind of mirror each other along this plane. 
so that rolling is easy. Although this means our center of mass is, yeah, it's rearwards, or sorry, forwards. That's okay. Once you're in the seat, it will like bring it back a bit. Not by much though. Okay, let's remove this and move it back. Same with this one. Oops. Dummy. Big dum dum. Okay, I think this should be plenty. We could put six. I mean, it just makes it so it's much more maneuverable if we have six. Uh, but where do we put them? We do five. Or we could do six still. We just put them in the center right here. Problem is, is that going to be distracting? If we have a literal maneuvering thruster right in front of us? How's that look? We're probably going to see like flaring up in the middle here. Um, let's test it out. Let's test it out and see. Let's see how that works, how it looks. If it's crap, let's also put some in the bottom here, uh, right where it is. So here. And down here. Right? Yep. Good, good, good. There we go. Now we have all our thrusters. Hopefully, five, six, three on each side. Man, top and bottom are much more powerful. Now we don't need these. I think we have plenty. These just these will just make the ship that much more expensive, you know. Let's also let me as well cover these up. Because we've been covering up the rest of it. Right. That was weird. What is this? Okay, I did that is four. Okay, well let's um let's see how it flies. It's probably going to be crap. That's okay. Uh, let's auto group. Yes. Let's fill. Fill. Maximum of 130 meters per second. That's just forward. Let's go up. Also 130. Wow. Same with down. about backwards. Wow, so pretty maneuverable. And it's relatively agile in terms of left-right. Our roll is wow, nice, very nice. So I think we have a pretty good, whoa. It's actually a bit much. I wonder if I should 
I feel like the strafe, yeah, it's only a 115 max there. Strafe isn't so hot. So maybe we adjust that and have eight. Yeah, this is kind of twitchy. No, no, no. Even up. There we go. Let's lower ourselves a little bit. Actually, before we continue this, let's go take a look at this pre-made rapier. And you can kind of see how uh, the designs can be pretty varied despite the blocks being relatively simple, right? The way they angle in and how they... Like the little details that you can do in this game is pretty good. Even if connections are kind of weird, like you can see here, it's not flush to the middle of something. But it looks good. And let's see, let's count. This guy has one, two, three, four side maneuvering thrusters. Uh, two, three, four top thrusters. How many are rear? Four medium. Wait. Yeah. Four medium. No. Wow, it doesn't have any. It has no uh, retro thrusters, so it cannot stop quickly. That's not good. We don't want that. We want to be able to control our ship. So this isn't a bad design by any means. Anyway, back to our ship. It kind of frustrates me that four medium thrusters is equal to, like, it has the same max speed as these top thrusters. Now, um, these probably don't need to be this far out now that I'm looking at it. They can probably be brought in a little closer, so let's do that. Let's pop them in, yeah, like one, two, three, four, yeah, yeah. Oops, upside down. There we go. And to kind of mirror where that is, we'll put that out one forward. We can put some carbon substrate here, just, oops. That's not carbon substrate. There we go. Just to kind of uh, keep it nice and solid. Although, this will probably end up being steel. Oh, so let's get rid of that. These will probably remain carbon. Okay, same thing here. Where do we put it here? All right. Oh, dang it. That's one, two. Reload. It's far back by Juan. No, it's still back, damn it. This one is at least. There we go. And let's put some carbon here just so we don't make the same mistake. Two, three. Good. We can fill these in, right? Sure. Uh, let's see, what do we put in this gap here? 
We don't really need to. I need to understand why it's not fast like it should be. Like you'd think six rear thrusters would give it more than 150 meters per second going forward, right? Like what's our limitation here? I mean, I mean that said, once we fill this up with uh, <coughs> excuse me, with weapons and all those other fun stuff, then. It will probably be like weighed down and it but those thrusters will be more than enough to compensate for that. What's our weight? Let's move this, whatever this is, back up where it's supposed to be. Oh, and it's not centered. Because it can't? I don't get it. I'm not sure what that is, and... Should probably find out. You'd think it would center itself because this is a three block. For some reason, it's. Uh, what? Oh. You know what? That's fine. We don't have to deal with this. I think that has to do with um, mirroring, but I'm not sure. As in, when you place a block down on one end, one side, it will mirror the same block on the other side. So that's probably why it can't sit in the very center of this center line. But that's right. We don't have to worry about that. Okay. So do we turn this into six? I don't like this placement anymore. Or sorry, do we turn this into eight? Or is six enough? Nope. I also kind of want to bring these in. Like so. Maybe we do... Maybe we follow the same thing that that ship is... The ship has done. And pair them. You know what I mean? So we gouge one out there. We gouge one out here. Here and here. What we do is we do this. So we still have four, but we have we still have um good yaw, if that makes sense. So let's try it out. Whoa. Can we not show that? Thanks. Yeah, this is the yaw is much better. And I think our side to side strafe is 130 meters per second. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. You're good. All right. There's our movement. I think we're good. I think these are these are good placements. Uh, the only thing that we could probably change is add more to the top, but I think top and bottom. 
Like just having six. But I think we're fine. We don't need that much more acceleration uh, on the vertical plane. No, just because we're not going to be doing a lot of that. Not many people will be fighting on the vertical plane, especially in ships that are designed horizontally. Oops, did I hit the mic? Sorry. I think we're good there. All right, give me one second. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to take a quick bio break. Okay, now. What were we doing? We were... Okay, so I was thinking... Okay, movement, that's done, that's done. Uh, we need to go back to... These two. Okay. Now, do we want... these two things. If we do, we attach it to the outer core as opposed to the inner core. It's not that important for us to have necessarily. Um, we can just do something simple. Let's just put it right here. Although these are large, aren't they? Yeah. So maybe we eschew these. Because there's no point in having them. Because like you said, look, look at it. It's taking up like a big chunk and that's not necessary. Whereas the tank is tiny. So, yep, we crash. Don't need him. Okay, so what's left? We've done thrusters. We need lights. Landing gear. Um, we'll do that in a bit. We're going to want container, bridge. Thrusters are done. Gear and guns. Um, I think maybe we do get a an armor closet. Because that'd be nice to have, right? I'm thinking the wireless connection is unnecessary, but um, it's probably nice to have. Uh, don't need this. Well, where is it? Where's the armor closet guy? Am I blind? Am I? Oh, there is. Armor locker, sorry. Okay, and what we can do is put it here next to the cockpit. Oh, these are small. Hmm. Actually, let's put one back like this. Before we decide this, actually, let's decide the 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 fridge and the ammo. I think I want these here. And the idea is to have these like somewhat accessible from the outside, so that 
when you're out on the planet and you've landed and you just want to like be able to like touch it and put stuff in there. So we put a car controller inside too, so maybe that's not a good idea. Let's look at our cargo controller. Where do we put that? RCS, ventilator, wireless. There we go, cargo container. Sorry, container controller. Let's take that away. Instead, let's put in... Where are you at? Container extension. Let's put that there. That there. Okay. It's probably unnecessary, but because there's a lot of there's a lot of space, which is I think not really used. But that's all right. Let's just it's better to have it and not need it. The problem is this one's exposed, but that's okay. I think well, it's not going to be exposed. Um, it's just if armor shot off, then it will be exposed, but. Just don't get just don't get shot at. <laughs> okay, so that's car container controller. Oh, we can't we can't put an armor armo thing next to it. Let's put food, and then that. So does this work? So ammo, bridge, container. Yep, this is okay. Now over here, what do we do here? Oops. We want to do something similar except with the armor locker. But there's nothing else here because we have no no need for it. Like here's our three main. How about drill module T two? Um, do we need a mobile constructor? I feel like this could really help. What's the what's the unlock for this? Mobile constructor level 7. Okay. That's doable. So what we do is why can't I go up and down? I can't What? I have no... There we go. That was weird. That was a weird bug. So we do this. We put the... Oh, we didn't, we didn't grab one. Uh... There we go. Oh, it's three. That's annoying. It means it will stick out down here. I was planning on um, doing that. But it sticks out. Damn you. Damn you so much.
I could do this. And then put the suit locker like that. Like that. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, and then this can just be blocked off. Uh, so with that, we maintain some symmetry. Let's look at our uh, center of mass. Ooh, leaning right. Why? What's heavy? Probably this guy. Mass 507 kilos. Yeah, it's this guy. Okay, so maybe we don't do a mobile constructor, which is fine. That was just a nice tea, right? What about now? No, it's still to the right. Is it the locker? Huh? Why is it over there? Is... It must be one of these parts that are too heavy. But maybe the fuel tank? Maybe it's because the fuel tank has fuel in it? Is that why? Nothing we can really do about that because that's probably the reason. Because these are probably extremely light on this side. In which case, what we can do is we can put counterweight. Where's our counterweight block? This artificial mass blocks. Kind of trying to avoid doing that, but um. Wait, I don't get it. This is our gar this is our center. I thought this was. <sighs> okay, so we're actually okay. Not sure why. This is skewed. Alright, you know what? Let's let's look up what Oh, I know why. I know why. Oops. Nope. <laughs> you know, let's not screw. Let's not. Let's not worry about that. Everything seems to be okay. Like our actual our actual center of gravity is at the center. Oh. That was more of a pain in the ass than I expected. That's okay. Okay. In which case, we can go back to this. Put 
We're still more, we're still more or less center, so we're okay. As long as as long as we are sitting on the center of gravity, we're we're totally fine. Um, and we can always use the counterweights to counteract any imbalances. I'm sure things will be different once this is filled with crap, but for now we're good. Again, I don't know why this little blue one is off, but we'll figure that out some other day. That's what it is. Okay. This was sticking out too far. That's cool. That's fine because that's just scaffolding. So we're okay. Which actually, now that we're not falling over, we can just get rid of all this crap. Maybe if we did fall over, we can... Hop in it now that it's got thrusters. Okay, now our little blue guy is in the middle. All right, this overall shape isn't bad. I don't, I don't hate it. Um, I feel like it needs to be a little bit wider, but we don't have to worry about that too much because we're going to use weapons to make it wider for now. Um, I imagine we only need four weapons. Let's put this, this, this away. And we're only going to use, we're going to be using these like cheapo smaller guns. As opposed to like the more expensive ones, because they, again, they, they need more points, they need more levels. And I think level 10 is a good place for this ship to be because again it's supposed to be a newbie ship right so let's put these two here i kind of want to bring these two out same with these two so that they're in line with the gun although you know what we could do is just is stagger them a bit So that one's here and one's here, as opposed to right next to each other. Kind of like that idea. Yeah, let's do that. So one there. Oops, one there. That's not bad, right? It looks pretty decent, yeah? And we can actually put another gun here. Or on top, maybe. I don't know, what do you guys think? Top? You can also bring them like over here. And what I'll that what that'll do is give us a little bit more of an bleh, give us more of an impressive view. Can I get in? Can't even see it. They're like just off to the sides there. Like uh, the thrusters are picking up the majority of vision which is that good is that okay like these two are like prominent especially since there's like thrust coming up do we move them i feel like they're well balanced as it is right let's check this so if we yeah so our our pitch is pretty good, so I like their placement. Like, if we bring them in, it'll make this pitch... I, I believe it will make this pitch less agile. Um, I mean, alternatively, we can, like, bring them out further. But, I don't know, I like where they're at. So I think we're just gonna have to deal. We're gonna have to deal with the thrust. Um, is this okay? We bring these out 
further forward. Or we place them next to the cockpit, you know what I mean? So that they're like here. And then we get to really see them. Right? That's like around our right in our face. That's funny as hell. But I don't think so. I think that's too much, right? That's too. Like we can. Right? Yeah, I think it's a bit much. Like right in our faces. And again, we can put them maybe in the side. So let's see, let's see what it looks like here. And keep in mind that you need to have, you obviously can't put them right in front of each other because then they'll interrupt each other or destroy each other. So nope, they have to be staggered out of the way. Um, I kind of like it like this. Oh, that also makes me want to like bring these out more. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Let's put some... Oop, that's not what I want. Yeah, that's not that's not a bad layout, right? I feel like these are now too close to the body. But I think they're okay there. Maybe we could bring them out so that they're close, they're in line with the gun. But I also kind of like the way this shape is. Yeah, I think we keep it there. Um, and I think we're pretty set on our, on our, everything we need. I think everything we need is on the ship now. We can start putting on the armor plating. Which again, it's, it's just going to be steel because it's going to be an quote unquote newbie ship. But it's good. All right, we have all our containers that we need. The container controller is probably overkill. But that's okay, like. It allows someone to, if they use the schematic, they can mod the ship however much they want to. This is just ugly to me, but um, it works, right? You have access to the constructor and access to your armor. So it's okay. Yeah, I think I think I'm okay with this. Oh, we need lights. We need lights. Where do we put lights? Maybe here? I don't hate it. <laughs> I don't hate the placement. I like the uh, the whole lines. The lines that this is creating. Um, oh, there's one other thing we need, and that's landing. The problem is, this is... I wonder if this is all going to be armor plating. Hmm. Because we're already kind of tall as it is. problem is like if this was armor plating then it's like one one layer through to the like necessary components i don't like that so maybe we just do thin armor down here so but with that i mean plates like this so, i do in fact that as opposed to like full cubes or maybe even like half 
where's the half cube half like this because I think these wait no let's see yeah it still has 38 hit points compared to a full block which is 50 it's not bad these are 31 Oops. I don't know. Once we get there, we'll figure it out. Because the, also, the another problem is, like, if we place this down, it'll make it harder for us to line it up with whatever blocks we place out on the outer edge. I still don't like this cockpit very much. I prefer the other one, just because of this rounded portion. It's going to be much harder to actually do stuff with this. And now that I think about that, I need to raise these two. Let's put carbon substrate here. Sorry, just carbon blocks, sorry. And... Is that attractive? I feel like the answer is no, <laughs> because when you look at the profile, it goes from rounded to blocky. I mean, we could could put uh, where is it? Is it a corner? Yeah, these these guys. That way it actually like seamlessly goes into it. No, it doesn't seamlessly go because this is just slightly... Ah, this cockpit sucks. But that's all right. Like, you know what? It's fine. I think even if it's not perfectly rounded, it should be okay. So let's look at it from the other way. Yeah, not bad. Let's see what goes in there like a regular... Cube? No. It needs to be slightly rounded. Is there is there a slightly rounded? I don't think so. No, I guess it does cube. Yeah. Oh well. That's okay. I don't I don't hate it. It's not terrible. Okay, now what do we do for this? Uh, ramp A? No. Now it's too... It's too much still. Now let's do ramp A. Like that. And we can start tapering it off. Uh, what goes here? B? Medium? I don't like that it never ever joins up correctly. Maybe this one's C medium. Yeah. Those aren't bad lines. I'm okay with those lines. Uh, this works for now. Okay, can we do anything in this space? Now we could, in theory, take these two thrusters and put them here in the middle. But I personally prefer this look. That they're kind of flared out. Although I kind of wonder if it's better, if it looks better up above. You know what I mean? Hmm. 
No, I, I think this is good. Actually, this is good. What does bother me is how blocky this looks at the, at the rear here. So maybe we bring these out one block so that the so that the so that the angle isn't harsh you know what i mean like this is a harsh angle i don't know yeah yeah, yeah. i don't i let's do that I think that's gonna mess with our uh, our center of gravity too. Although I can probably leave these this one here. Uh, where's our thrusters? This guy. So these two can probably still stay there. Put blocks there. Oops. Okay, what's our center of gravity? Oops. Uh, it's still mostly where it should be, so we're okay. Yeah, I like this a little bit better, because then we can put ramps here to give the lines more, I don't know, to make it a lot less harsh. So, for example, we could just do this. Right, this is like the easiest solution. Right. In the center, we can do something else, but for now, let us put in some carbon. That back is a little bit proud, right? <laughs> There's a lot of chunkiness in the back. That's okay. We can just we can use like the the counterweights if in case this if in case our center of gravity goes too far back because we're going to be putting a lot of armor around this okay uh ba -da -ba -ba -ba. now what do we do here to bring it out and then start tapering it down again like so and then Something like this. No, it's not. Although it's not a bad look. Let's let's actually let's let's finish it out to the end and see how it looks. Uh, let's see what's this one. Ramp C. No, I hate that angle. I hate that angle. So it'll go there. That's also shitty. So these got to go away. Let's put ramp A's back in. Uh, I don't mind that put like we can put some decoration up here too to to break up this monotony uh let's see let's actually try ramp b as well just to see what it looks like uh i think oh actually i kind of like this dichotomy this difference so let's keep the ramp b in the middle here um 
These guys are C's. Ooh, that tapers nicely at the end there. Oof. Oof. Nope, that's too too much. Although that's not bad, right? Because we could do this to make it more to make that angle a lot better, but I do like how that that came through. Yeah, let's keep that. Let's keep that. I like that. I like those lines. Uh, down here, we'll figure that out some other time. For now, let's finish the top. Okay, now... How do we armor up these guys? And the problem here is, like, even if, even if, like, it gets shot through, right? There's still... There's nothing, like, back here that's important. So it's okay if these get shot into, um, like if they if anyone gets through the armor plating. So we can use something thinner. Let's see though, what's good for us? How do we want to taper things down, like something like this? So let's put that there as a as just just as an experiment, and then put one of these. Nope, not that. This. There we go. That's not bad looking. Although this then needs to be a regular block. That way it's armored. Yeah, I don't. I'm okay with that. That looks pretty decent. This will probably need to change too. Okay, let's see. What goes here? This? No. Uh... Mm, nope. The problem with these shapes is they don't necessarily always fit with each other. Like this, like I would, I would love for this to like be flush, but it's not. Um, maybe this one does. Yeah, this one does. So that's an that's not those aren't bad angles. It's just weird, kind of funky. But let's see it through. Let's see it through. Let's put a um, just a regular cube here. Actually, does this need to be a regular cube? Yes, yes it does. Um, because there's nothing else we can do to protect that. That's okay. What we'll do here is these wall slopes. Unfortunately, These might not look great. What if we did it like this? Oops. Like that. And we can just put a, a wall plate here. Yeah, that's not bad. That way you can still have access to this through this. Like that. And then we can close these off. Although the top is open, which I don't like, but we can also fix that. There's two things we can do here. We can put... Where's the flat guy? This guy. Like this. And a plate. Then we can put uh, other stuff here. We'll figure that out in a second, but now when you're out and about, you still have access to both of these from the outside. And it's still moderately protected. I mean, they can still get shot at, of course, but, uh, you know, sometimes we gotta live with that. 
if we want access to our, our things. Um, this coming down looks odd to me. So maybe we take that out. Down with our plate. And we put this guy. Which gives us some interesting lines, right? It kind of makes me think that this is not the correct shape for this. We can play around with this later. Uh, for now, this is okay. Um, and we can cap these off at some point. Now, the problem here is that these are three boxes, and so we need three. The design here has to be different. I need to change that. So, for example, on that side, it would need to be this. Now, oh, damn it, what am I doing? That. That doesn't look good. Okay, that looks better. Then we can mirror this on that side. So that we have access to all three boxes, although this looks although this is just, you know, a thing. No, this is okay. This is okay. Let's continue building this out, and then once once we have a decent design for this side, then we can mirror it on the other side. I don't like how non-angular this is. Let's not worry about that. We'll look at that again in a second. I just want this. I want this viewing and access window to be here. That's really the important part. Okay, now this, how do we do this? We want it to kind of taper down slowly, right? We want it to extend out, although there aren't a whole lot of options in that regard. Like the ramps here are very... There's no ramps here that take like three, if that, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? So let's, let's bring one out. Let's do... if we do a cut corner? Oh, that's ugly. We need... We need something like this. But that angle is just awful. This is what I mean. Like, there are no pieces that actually are meant to, like, stretch out three. They're only, like... Like, for example, the, the thing that matches this would be... This guy, right? Oops. Like that. Actually, not even that, because it's got a little lip. It's got to be... Where is it? This one? Yeah, this one. And that doesn't look great. I mean, technically, we could bring these two forward. It's like if we recreated that here. But then the, the front looks meh. Hmm. What if we brought it here instead? And then we did something like just a regular old rampy. Regular old rampy, right there. It's not bad. 
It looks like harsh cheekbones, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. I don't like that very much. I think what we do here is this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is better because it extends it. Let's pull this forward. So another ramp. And then this can be that. This can be this cut corner. Right? That's not bad. That's a little bit better. And then we can st extend these ramps out this way. This is probably going to be flat, so we're going to want cubes there, steel cubes. Yep, not bad. Now I wonder... See, now we could probably use this. Yeah, that looks much, much better. And then this, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good. You can figure out what goes here afterwards. But this looks pretty decent to me. It still has like this kind of aggressive look to it. Um... And while I like these guns here, it also looks out of place now with this. Like if we were to bring them back to these positions, that might look better. Yeah, I know they're I know they're right in front of the thrusters, but it doesn't really affect anything. I don't know. I personally like the way this looks better, but I think this is going to be much more convenient for us. So let's do that. That sure looks really chunky in the back there. Uh, what's our center mass? We're still okay. We're still just about center. This looks harsh, and I kind of, I really do want to bring it up. I think, yeah, there's no, there's no choice. And by bringing it up, I mean just putting steel blocks here instead of carbon. Carbon composite. I think it's okay. We'll just Oop, dang it. Excuse me. Click. Thanks. Yeah, let's do this. We'll cover up all of our stuff. Hopefully no one shoots the bottom out. We should be okay. Oh, you know what? We forgot something. We forgot... Ooh, I don't like that being... Well, it's fine. It's fine. We forgot... Landing gear. We want them to... Oh, these are 3x3. Three three. Shit. Um, actually, aren't there smaller ones? Yeah, landing gear 2 is smaller. Yeah, yeah. Let's do these.
There we go. And then these, these landing gears should automatically retract and protrude when we land. Bonk. Okay, down. Down more, down. As such. And this thing's chunky as shit. I don't know if I like that. It's not long enough and it's too tall. I want to extrude this now. Just looking at it on the ground here, I don't like it. Now one thing we can do to make this thinner is... Bring these thrusters down. So we can start this ramp, this down ramp earlier. This shouldn't affect our maneuverability. But again, it looks too... too short. And I think a big reason why having these Gatling guns out at front I think just having them there made this ship more balanced looking because right now it's just stubby. I don't like I don't like that stubby look. So let's let's change stuff around. I think these are placed well. Um, Especially when it's around, since they're right by the cockpit. So we leave them there. Oops. Oh, these will have to move too. Reload. Oop. Actually, we do want this here. Right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This guy. So we need this. Although, in all honesty, we probably don't need... all four out here, like all four mediums, but... you know what, I just like the look of them. I think they look better as your retro thrusters than like four of these like tiny midget ones. And that way, that's, this will allow us to put a these landing gear up front. Okay, bye. Stick to this, this, this right here, over here. No. Oh, there we go. And then we can seal this up nicely. Let's actually get back in the air. It's easier for us to maneuver around it. Okay, and actually this can go... Wait, no. No, because... Um, let's replace that. Since I damaged it. Oops. Loop. Okay. Um, let's put... There we go. Our light's back. Um, okay, now it feels a little bit longer. But it still feels kind of chunky, doesn't it? I think it's because of this. I think it's because of our containers. 
So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna undo all this. I think what we're gonna do is lay the containers out this way into the wing. Like so. Although this is going to be hard to reach, isn't it? Hmm. How are we going to lay this out? But like this instead. Oops. Dang it, can't see this thing. Like that, maybe? And like this? The problem is that's so low to the... Hmm. You know what? It's fine. It's actually fine. It looks okay. And what we can do here is, let's see, what can we do here? We can do, where's the partial ones? These, yeah, the ramp halves, like that. So we can still see it. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I feel like that's not very good looking. I mean, I suppose we could put just put two regular ramps here. Like this. Oops. Not, not bad. This. And still have access to the middle here. That way you can still do your crafting. Although it's not super necessary to have access to the crafting. Uh, we can also change this out. Or this guy. Oops. Gotta rotate that properly. Like that. That way we can have plates up on top. Like so. So we still have access to the armor. And it's still moderately protected. And these can just be more plates, right? And that can be a... This guy. Cut corner E again. It bulges out a bit. Oh, but it doesn't match because of this ramp. Damn. Damn you. Damn you, ramps. I hate that they don't quite fit nicely with each other. Oops. Oh, that's going to bother me. Like this. But you know what? It's okay. As long as this is protected, then we're okay. This is also weird to me, but I don't think we have much of a choice. We don't really have a good ramp. Oh, wait, actually, there's a, um, this. It kind of helps protect it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's a little bit better. At least there's something there to keep it from just getting directly shot at. All we have to do is mirror this somewhat. Oh wait, not this one. 
Not that exactly. Uh, we need this one. So that it's at least flush with the rest of it. Now, can we mirror that same vibe over here? I think so. Right? I didn't need to get rid of that, but we can do, um, where's our containers? Do, do, do. Controller, fridge, and ammo. So we can do a uh, controller here, fridge here, and ammo here, right? So we could mirror that kind of over here. Except this will be a little bit more protected, but that's okay. And that's good. Good for us. Uh, we'll need to figure out the solution for the bottom, but that's going to be easy because we'll just do ramps. And actually, now that I think about it, these landing gear can go out here on the outside. Like, like this. If it'll let us. And that gives us protection in that regard. And this can go back to being good old steel blocks. Oop, like that. Okay, that's not bad. I think everything's pretty much protected like we need it to be. Um... Now this, let's actually change this up a bit. I still want to end... Hmm. I should put a full block up here. Like so. Does that look okay? I actually don't like it. I actually don't like that. Um, what can we do? Oops. What can we do to change this? Do we have options? I don't think we have many options. Um, maybe like this. We could probably put a ramp a double here. I think, yeah, that's much, much smoother. But we need that transition. And how do we figure that out? Cut corner A? No. I think it's got to be this. I don't like that either. It doesn't look great. What do we need? We need something like... What are our corners like? It'd be, we, need, we need something that goes from a half I don't think any such blocks exist, to be perfectly honest.
Maybe this. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Because we need something with this profile going into something with... Like, oh, like this maybe? No, that's not, that's not enough. Oh, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Except longer. If this isn't perfect... It's good, but it's not perfect. So something along these lines. Yeah, like that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that's good. We can like paint some vents on there or something. Right on. Good jobo, sure. Good jobo. Um then we can do this to extrude it out, perhaps. Do we need to do that? Does that look okay? Doesn't look bad. Um, actually, yeah, we can actually end it like that. Let's do, what was that piece we just had? Oh, man. Shit. Totally lost it. Totally lost it. <laughs> Which one was it? Uh... Oh yeah, that one. Do that, and then go into this. There's a right piece, yeah? So right piece. Yep. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad at all. We just have to replicate that on this side. Oh, we can actually put little decoration pieces here. Although we don't have to use steel, right? We can put um, carbon composite there. Okay, for now, let's let's try and replicate this side. Uh, what do we use, this guy? Of these, and what was this piece? This was this one. No, it was this guy. Right? Yep. No. Yes. <laughs> How am I doing? There we go. And then we needed cut corner F. Cool. This isn't bad. It's probably going to be heavy, though. Let's 
live in tons of mess. I think we're good. Oh, look at all those resources. But we need titanium for some reason. So this won't necessarily be easy to get for someone around 10th level, but that's okay. I think it works. I think it's okay. Um, right around 10th is about the time when you start going off into different planets, so it is okay. Uh, I don't like this solution necessarily. Um, these guys. That's what we got right now. Probably come up with something a little bit better at some point, but oops. We don't need necessarily need that to be symmetrical, but it just looks better if it is. Get this down. Oops. Bloop. Okay, now how do we what do we deal with this? We do We'll finish the plating up here at some point, not right now. I just want to kind of mirror the basic stuff for accessing these containers. Uh, for now, let's do this. Let's um, this is probably gonna have to go and be replaced by an actual steel cube. Same with this. I have to do the same over here. But um, first, let's do ramp A's. Oops. I think let's try and mirror the, the design here, where we have like a either a longer or a shorter middle section. Probably shorter. Um, just to give us a little more variance in the, the design lines. Ugh, I don't like how that angles. That's okay. Okay. It's more of a curve than a straight line. Damn you, game. Damn you. Maybe we do this one instead. Or really, is that okay? I feel like that's okay already. Yeah, let's just do that. And then this one can be... Think of that. Yikes. <laughs> no. That doesn't look great. I think what we do here is bring these out and then start ramps Let's do two ramp A's actually three ramp A's yeah and that's how we'll change the the uh the, the, the lines and we'll do ramp C's
Now the center can be different too. We can also do something something um, more visually interesting here. Oh, I don't like how that angle is down like this. Feels kind of chunky. Yeah, I feel like it's too far forward now. Ah, <laughs> oh, mains. So maybe we have a long nose as opposed to, you mean like as in the opposite of this? Let's see how that looks. So instead we put that here, that there. Sorry, no. This guy there. This there. What we do here is we do ramp is and C's. That. that looks a little better. That's okay. Because then we can put like vents or something, like something, some paint on here, like this. Or, you know, something along those lines. Well, we'll see. For now, let's uh, keep that blank so that we can decide all that later. Um... Oh, this isn't bad. I don't, I don't mind this at all. Oh my god, what's going on? And then this we can turn into this rampy boy right there. Yeah, that gives it kind of a more aggressive look. Just old, especially with this, like, with these thrusters. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, let's do... Okay, which part was this? It was corner this guy? Oops, that's exactly what I needed. What am I doing? There we go. And this, this one? Yep. Cool. Yeah, I like that much better. That looks so much nicer than the other way around. I kind of want it to like be closer in, but then that would shorten the whole ship, so nope. Because I want the front to at least match the length of the back, and maybe even extrude it more, but this is okay. I think this is okay. Yeah, I'm relatively happy with that. We need to change this out, and... Now we're going to cover that up with armor plating. So that's okay there, but this one probably needs to change. Right? Hmm. 
No, this one needs to change. All right, you and you. Yeah, that's not a bad design. Let's um, let's fly around and see how it handles. If see if it's still the same. It's okay. I feel like it's a little more sluggish in response, like less acceleration. But maybe that's I'm just inserting that feeling in there. I think it's okay. It feels okay. Again, I just wish that it was a bit longer and maybe thinner, but I think that's just a limitation of what blocks we can use. Like, again, I, I prefer for this ramp to take three rather than two to, like, extrude down. I think it would look better if it was three than two. Okay, now let's finish up plating everything. Uh, this doesn't need to be metal. We do this, that. Um, how do we design this? Let's do... Rampy boys. Oops, that was what I needed. That's like that. The way we keep the same lines, it's nice and slight. Yeah, I like that. We'll do that and that to mirror what's going on down there. We. Oop. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep, yep. That looks good. Now this doesn't need, I was thinking like maybe we put one here, but that's too heavy, I think. I think we do, we just like bring it back over here. Where's our center of grav? Or center of mass, sorry. So what happens if we put plating from here? That change much? No, I think we're still good. It's even better than before, actually. So that that wait, where were we? I think it was under this thruster, right? Yep. Yeah. And wrap. Although a ramp doesn't look great on this side for some reason because it doesn't so for example like these look great here because they're all kind of clustered together but this should probably mirror this yeah let's get rid of these and let's get rid of the center of mass thing okay now we need piece do we need? This guy? No. This. That slope isn't looking looking so great. Because I think it needs to be the short one. Nope, that also looks terrible. Right? Where is that flush? Oh, it is flush. It just looks dumpy because of this angle. Oh man, I wish I really wish that the designed. They did that they designed these things to interlock with each other a little bit better. Um, what we can do, actually, now that I think about it, maybe 
No, not that. Like this, but not rounded. It needs to be that. Nope, that's not that's not large enough. It needs to be much larger, like this. Actually, before we do anything, let's let's mirror that on this side. Then place this guy. Nope, not that guy. Or, yeah, that guy. So it looks a little bit better on the bottom. It's not fantastic. Like this, this feels like it's too harsh of an angle. Um, let's get rid of it. I don't like it. Don't like... Actually, I don't like all this. Oops, that's the climbing gear. Damn it. Uh, repair. So what we do here is... Let's actually do the same thing that we did up here in this section. Let's do something similar. Let's put two, two here. We'll do a transition here and a transition here. Right, this side? No. Over here and here, under the gun. Sorry, not under the gun. This. Yeah, that looks a little bit, that looks much better, actually. I like these lines. So let's do, let's have it meet up, uh, this guy. Sorry, over here. Okay. Um, getting lost. Not this guy. We need this guy. Or this guy, actually. This one's better. Right. Okay, why am I ending up with the same fucking... It should work the same way here. Yep. It shouldn't matter if it's left or right. Okay, there we go. That looks better. Um and this can go What do we need here? This has to go. Is that okay? Hmm. 
Or do we bring it in somehow? Uh, I think this is okay. I think this is okay. That looks so much nicer. Oh yeah, that's so much, so much nicer. All right, be right back. Gonna take a quick break yet again. Bloop, bloop. Okay, we are back a bit, back a bit. All right, so unfortunately, this isn't quite what I imagined a Federation fighter would look like. I felt it was a little bit wider, although we can change that by like doing some stuff here and here as well. And a little bit longer too. But that's all right. Nothing's perfect. Like this, like this join. <laughs> like, how are they going to make a three by three and not have parts that match this line, right? That's why I'm annoyed by this cockpit. Anyway, this is, this seems okay. Um, You know, one thing we could do, I think about it, is remove this and this. Oh, but this is three, that's right. Oh. We could move this forward and then move this back here so that we can mirror this. Yeah, let's do that. Where's the armor? Armor Lakaru? I think it's just, it's just so set inside there that it's kind of weird to access. Maybe we put it on its side, like, oops. Like that. But then you get to see the bottom. I think it's uh, all right. It's fine. I think it's fine. We'll just have to deal.
Oops, I put that on the wrong side. There we go. And then this can be just a regular old cube, just like here. Alright, there we go. That looks a little bit better. I mean, since we can access it, we don't need that to be open necessarily. I just wanted it to kind of match the way this looked. Just do this. It's okay if it doesn't exactly match, right? As long as we're getting the most of what we need, right? We can also We can also go back to the half half ramps. that and then place these two boxes right yes right man containers I containers. Lock there. Fridge here. Rampy Borge. And half ramps. Where's the half ramp? Half ramp. This guy. If we still have access to both of these uh, through the one access panel. And yeah, access to the constructor and the uh, armor locker. Same with the ammo container. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then we can seal these up with ramps. Oops. Oh, we need to seal this up uh, with one of these guys. Or yeah, this guy. Oop. Okay, let's um. What part was that? Oh man. This. Right. No. 
it was. This guy? Shit. What part was this? This? This. This. And this leads to this part. I feel like that's wrong. No, nope, that's right. He's right. Okay, that's good. He's good, he's good. Uh, what can we put here? Oh, it doesn't need anything special. Uh, maybe one of these. No, it's too round. Uh, what about this? Maybe. No, this. No. That. That's perfect. Now we can put one of these guys in the corner there. Yep. Yeah, those lines are coming together nicely. Nicely. Now, I still would prefer these angles to be this block. Now, where's this ramp be? But we can't really, because it'll mess with the uh, actual lines, the way they meet up. Okay, we did that. It's not bad. We'll have to use which one? The ramp half. There aren't any ramp halves that are uh, cut off like that. Because this is yet yeah, way too tall. Although, what if we put this and then this? It's not shabby. That's just two, like, way two different lines, like, along here. It's really these platings that, that kind of mess things up, but they kind of need to be there. 
to like help protect the actual components. Like I don't mind this at all. It's this that bothers me the most. See, like, because now this bothers me. Seeing this. Let's also put... Ooh. Wait a minute. F ramp C medium? Let's, where's the ramp C medium? This. That looks nice like that. Let's look at uh, this ramp D. What? There we go. That's not bad right there. I mean, there's this, but there's nothing we can do about that. I think I like this better. Oops, not that. This. Even though it's kind of a wonky angle, because we can pull this out. And then add and then cap it off here with the corner. Uh this? No. Yes, like this, but not that. Uh maybe this guy. Yeah, that. That looks nice. We could do something similar here, to be perfectly honest. Um If there's something here that fits, but I don't think there will be. Like this, maybe? Or this? Oh, man. The problem is they just don't fit so well with each other. Like, it would be great if, like, these two were also the same. Like, you know I mean, like, it, there was something that, that met this, that met this piece and this piece together. But there isn't any such piece. Like, this would be great there, too, in that little corner there. Like, let's look at it real quick. Although, it might be too small. No. No, it would be great right there. Ah, but these two pieces. Ah, get in the way. Could maybe use these. that looks weird doesn't it it interrupts the lines now, alternatively we don't need physical access to this right we can just hide that away this one's a problem though because we need 
physical access to this. I mean, do we? Do we? We could, in theory, access it all through here. The ammo box and the cargo boxes. The no, you can't. You can't access it. Equipment? Yeah, you can. Okay, so you can equip it. You just have to access it through here rather than physically, which is okay, I guess. I was just hoping to kind of keep this aesthetic, but I don't think that's doable. So that's fine. Let's get rid of this and this. And just cover it up. Wait, we have a problem. We can't put this container next to the controller. We have to put the fridge in between the two of them. That means this extension does nothing. Well, actually, we can put ammo fridge that. Yeah, so we move this extension over here. We take this wireless. Uh, where's your wireless? This wireless. We need extension. So wireless, extension, controller fridge. Okay, so fridge. Oops. I don't know why I'm... It doesn't matter which way they're facing, because we can't see them, ever. Uh, container... Which one did I put this in? Yeah, container controller here. Ammo here. Alright. We go nice and sleek this is a problem oh there's a kind of a gap because of the way the gatling gun works like it's got these uh bezels how do we fix this I think we move these back to the front. I think this is the only way to not have those ugly gaps. And we'll figure out covering those up later. For now, let's Rearrange this stuff. So y'all can go back. Give me a locker. I just have to set you down. Huh? Oh, like that. Over here. Oops. I guess it doesn't matter which way it's facing. I also need this guy. And these are thick ass metal wings. But all right, you know what? That's just what we got to do. All right. Now, covering these up should be relatively easy. We'll use, uh, let's see, ramp C or ramp B. We'll do ramp B. Let's 
like that. And we use ramp C low to polish it off. Not bad. Yep, I put these back up here. Which gives it that more, like a more aggressive uh, overall silhouette, right? We could put them on top here, like in place of these two, but I feel like I like them there instead. I know like I really hate this little stupid, like, well, why? Why is that design like that? But nothing we can do about it. That's just the way they've made it, so we gotta live with it. Okay. Next, we do these. Oh no, we used a totally different thing. What do we use here? Ramp C's, I think. No, not these ones. Uh, these ones, mediums. Yeah. And then we'll put... This? Okay, how do we end these? Um, these? Yes. Yep. It's good. It looks good. I like it. I like the way it looks. I wish it was a little bit further out, but that's okay. We can change that. We can add some stuff to make that look better. Mostly, we'll just let them, we'll fill this up with greebles. Um, but we'll do the greebles later. We'll do the paint first now. I think this is okay. I think this is good. Um, no, it's not good. It's not good. We need, we need two top thrusters, which we'll put here. Like so. We can put it back here too, in these spots, but I think they're probably better down there. They look better down there, yeah. All right, I think we're solid. Um, oop, I need to swap, swap out my battery or my earphones. Excuse me, one moment. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, um, let's see. What do we do here? We do something like this. No, that's too... Like this. I think this is better. Yeah. Although I think that's better here. No, 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 no. I know what I know what to do. Uh, this guy. Like we mirror this thing up here and then just 
rotate it so like this yeah oh yes oh yes that is good and then we We need to go from square to diagonalized. I don't know. I don't know what that that is. So something like this. No. Like that. Just click on our E. There's a lot of metal. And then we need to fill in these, but we'll just do a quick triangle. This, like, they don't need anything more complicated than this. That. And like that. Nice. I like those lines. Those are good lines. Except for this. I feel like it's too far out. What if it was something like this instead? I don't like the way that looks. Man. See, I like, I really like the way it kind of does this but it's just too far forward like if it was all back by one but then this would be too flat too long here you know what let's see what it looks like let's see what it looks like it just mirrors like the game volume really low Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, see, I like the way this is placed. I like the way this looks. But having this that far forward... See, the problem is it's not going to like match to this. I guess that's okay. Okay, which pieces were those? Um, this? Oh, this, this guy. This fellow right here. See, now it doesn't look quite right, does it? I feel like it was better off when it was one forward, when it matched this. Because now this looks silly.
Okay, let's... I'm not satisfied with this. Like, I much prefer the way this looks, the way it looked before. Hmm. This isn't bad, but, um... It gives away, like, it takes away the vibe that this was Vince, you know what I mean? Like this look. This looks much more attractive. But again, it feels off. Like, I wish this, this was able to, like, go three so that this point is over here at this point. Rather than... But the, the blocks just don't allow us to have that. Oh well, <laughs> nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. Uh, we just don't have the capability. Um... Like same with the back here. Like I would, I would prefer for this slope to take three to get like from this point to this point. But again, there's no, there's no. There aren't any blocks in this game that allow that. All the ramps are two. And the... You see what I mean? Like, if it was, like, sleeker like this, it would look so much more attractive. But nothing you can do. I think we start just painting now, and then we can add creebles. Because I like the overall shape at this point. Uh, maybe this could extrude out one further, but uh, no, it's fine. Uh, let's look at the bottom. Our bottom's okay. Okay, let's start painting. Now, let's go with... Okay, how do we do this? Do we do a center stripe? We can't really do a center stripe because this is going to always, always be whatever the color we pick. Oh, we could. We still could could do that, right? Oops. Let's do. Yeah, I think the center center stripe makes sense because. Just because of the way we have created these lines, right? We could also do some kind of dumb cross thing like this. But, well, it's not too bad. Especially since it's linked to the guns. But I don't know if I'm a fan. I like that it comes down like this. It gives it kind of a Star Wars vibe almost. But let's let's do something else. Let's um let's do black. Let's do a black stripe here. Do we mirror that in the bottom, maybe? It's not bad, but... I don't know about that.
Why can't I paint that? There we go. I think aesthetically this looks pretty comparable to the other designs that I've made, like with the hover vessel and the small other small vessel. So we can go with this for now. It's a little too stripey. I went too far out. Just want this one. Mm, no, no, this isn't. I don't. I don't like that necessarily. What we could do is let's, let's let's bring this to gray. could do is make the outer edges black like over here so let's do these black maybe like everything on the outer the whole outer like this or is that too strong it kind of thins it up, though. Like it makes the the ship itself seem thin, which is probably the right of the reason why I look kind of like the whole X, because it made it feel wider than it was. I think that's yeah. I think we do that. Or we could. Let's actually let's see this through, to. on both sides. See, the problem is this is jarring because you have black black and then gray like because it sits in this center line so we should probably just make it black to to make it neat um even though it technically violates our our coloring scheme see like here now it's well we can always change just the face right so this will be gray This looks okay. We can go back to this and then reach out again, like before. Oops, this needs to be that. And that gives us our Star Wars vibes. Without necessarily dipping, like it's still... The blacks are still connected to each other. How did this happen? What? How did... You can change the color of the uh, thruster? No way. I did not know that. Holy shit. We're doing purple. I didn't know you could target that. 
That is awesome. So yeah, I like this kind of cross look. Um, hot cross buns, yeah, very Star Wars in its kind of design. But I mean, it's just the paints. The design itself is not very Star Wars at all. It's not sleek. It'd be nice if it was just two, or if it was three, then it'd be wider, but nothing you can do. It's just the blocks. The blocks are like that. Um, okay, what else do we need to do here? What else can we change in terms of colors? Oh, we do need to unify these. Because right now they're using this, this texture, which is this. This texture, but we don't want that. We want this. Or we could change the paneling. So it looks more industrial. Oh, it changed it back. You suck. After all that work. It's alright, we'll we'll try and fix that. I don't know why these lights never change their texture, but um, we're stuck with them. Okay, do we do all gray with the paneling? Yeah, let's do all the gray with the paneling. So it's uniform. Fix that in a second. Um, let's just get all our panels done. Should be everything, right? Take a quick look, see. Nope, not everything. Okay, now let's fix these guys. Let's do black. Black on, oops, damn it. Go back here <laughs> and do black on one face, not all faces. There we go. Oh, I see. That's why it changed, but not. Okay, wait. Okay, I get it. So this is technically its own face, even though it's on this side. So that's why. Cool. 
We can still have purple. We'll fix that in a second. Alright, gray. What did that do? Oh right, because it's a landing landing gear, so any components that you paint will always be the entire thing. Except for the engines for some reason. So whatever. Um okay. So I think this paint job is okay. It's got some crusader vibes. Like if this was red, it would be uh you know the holy crusades. Um This is good. I feel like this should be purple rather than black. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, this is good. Actually, it's good. I like that. I like, I like that better than black. Um, okay. I think the paint is okay. It's good. There's no problems. Let's um, let's do some finishing paint touches. Actually, do we do greebles first and then do finishing paint touches? Um, yeah. Get rid of all this junk. And we need wings. We need general devices. Let's do modular wings too. Anything else? Shutters. Trusses. Nah. I think we're good. Okay. So okay, that's a huge wing. Holy shit. Uh, wing A, B, 6 by 5. What the fuck? 12 by 9? These are huge. Like the... <laughs> yeah, nah. So... That's not gonna work. Okay, so these guys, let's see, this one's large, tapered, small. Where can we put... We could maybe put stuff like this. And since this is a connector... Alright, where do we line this up to? Let's line it up to... How does that look? And that kind of helps protect the gun. Yeah, I, th I think I like it forward. Let's do that there. That there. And we can still add wings to that because that's a wing connector. So we can add, let's say, papered small, delta small, swept. Oh, it's angled. Not only like the angled. 
Let's do delta small. Or you know what? Since our shape is going in this direction, then we should do the same. Like that. Like something similar to this? Hmm. I don't know about that. I like this better though. Well, even though it doesn't quite match this line, it almost runs parallel. I don't know. This is okay, because it does this. Like I like the sweeping line almost. Maybe it needs to be a little bit forward. Maybe the whole thing needs to be swept, swept forward. Okay, reload that. Can we put it forward? I think no, we can't. Oh, yeah, can. Cool. It's just kind of fidgety. No, no, it doesn't look right. It's too far forward. I do like the swept wing look. Is that good or is it, should it be here? I feel like this is better. Yeah. Let's echo this or her. Oops. That, what am I doing? We've lost ourselves, <laughs> or I have lost it. There we go. That gives it a kind of a forward facing aggression and still kind of maintaining this kind of swooping, swooping line here. Invisibly. Uh, the only problem is this. I think maybe it's okay. Actually, it's okay. It's fine. We'll paint those in a second. For right now, let's finish up some greebles. Let's do six. Let's add strict two. I think these are neat looking, but where do we put them? Put them on top of this. I also put something like this up here. No, it's too random. Maybe something more like. See, I really wish I could use the air brake somewhere because these things look great. 
the problem is they're two by two squares. And so when we have, we can't center it to the ship. Like the only place we can put them is something like here, right? Which actually, Remove these guys. I think what I want to do here is actually put these up on this so that the Gatling gun itself doesn't look quite so weird by itself, you know? Let's put them here. So it looks like they're cooling, right? They're cooling the uh, the guns or I don't know, something like that. So let's give them that. Let's add. Again, the problem is these guys are two by two. Oops. So it's never going to be quite, I mean, like it's going to be right on the edge there. So it looks like it's half off. That's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. I want to use these, but they look they look great, but they also don't center. If it sat right on this, it looks so good. Okay. Oops. Okay, what do we do here now? We do we do fins? We could put the uh, wings back, of course. We could put intakes. That looks okay. Intake two. Nah. These fins are okay looking, but I think I think these look better, these connectors. Let's look at the medium. Ooh, that's not bad. Let's do <laughs> What is that? What is that? Wait, that's weird. So actually let's look at that real quick. Like Will the wing connect to that? Or is it going to be like hovering out? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Poor design. Or maybe it's meant to. Okay, okay. Let's let's think this through. Maybe it's something else. Six, seven. Maybe it's meant to connect vertically. Like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's why. So we could do something like that. Oh, I just realized something. This is not using the right texture. Actually, we'll fix that in a second. Um, for now, let's complete this. This little journey. Do we do forward? Or do we swept back? I 
I think we do. The angled one. Angled tapered small. This one. If we can manage. Yeah. See, the problem is that that wasn't... Stuff like that isn't in... I didn't envision that in my original idea for the fighters because it's too... No, I don't. I don't feel it fits. I don't think it fits the uh, the aesthetic of the Federation necessarily. I mean, it wouldn't be bad, like if we if we did the same thing down here. Oops. Can I, can you give us this? No, it won't let us on the bottom. Not really. Oh, I know why. Because. Okay, why am I having problems here? It's not bad. The problem here is that this angle doesn't match any of these angles. So it doesn't quite fit. I think the large connector looked better still with the uh, swept forward wings. Like so. This looks small, right? What if we use large or mediums? Ooh, I think that looks good. And then let's add small to the end of that. Oh, yeah, that looks much nicer. Yeah, that looks good. That looks pretty good there. I wish we could kind of mirror it back here somehow. Like, have a wing like this. You know what I mean? But that, like, putting that there makes it look not so good. It's alright. Let's try and mirror it. Rightio. See now, what I want to do is swap these two. So this is further out, and this is further in. To kind of match this vibe. So that it's angled in this direction to match this direction. Same with the guns, like bring them out forward. I don't know. All right, let's see how heavy we are. Thirteen tons. 
Okay. Let's fly around a bit. It's not bad. I think... Pitch is still good. Yaw feels kind of slow. I think yaw feels slow because these are too close to the cockpit. If they were further out here, they'd probably be better. Same with these two. Like if these two were like off by one, it'd be better. And same with these, like off by one. If this was over here, which we could still do, we just need to um, shuffle around all this stuff. But also, we have to redo a lot of these things. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's move them both forward into this position and this position, and then put the yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's see how it looks. We are going to need some thrusters M. We're going to need Gatlings. And we're going to need small thrusters. Okay. Okay, we want it to be in line with this. Plating there, and then we're going to want one here. Like that. So that it's more aggressive. Now let's put guns right at the tip. There, like this? Is that too much? Is that too much? Yeah, it's too much. That feels too much. Yeah, that feels a little bit better. We still have our very aggressive front that is kind of angled, angled that way. That's really I should probably change that. Let's make that steely bore. All right, nice, much better. Sad gun. You could also, in theory, put a, th a third gun here in the middle, um, just to give it more uh, combat potential. But I think four is good. Four should be plenty for a a tenth level player. Like no one's gonna like this should be more than enough to take out take out whatever problems come in their way. Um, I don't want to move these necessarily. I think this is okay. Let's do a quick flight test to see how our yaw is. 
Mm, still feels slow. I mean, our, our strafe is good. Max 85? Really? Why? I guess it's just, it's just the way it is. Because they're small. Alright, that's fine. It's cool. I'm okay with that. I feel like this needs to come out a bit more, but you know what? I'm not going to bother with that. It looks pretty good where it is, even though there's a sizable gap. A gun would definitely change the way this looks. Like if you put one in it and the barrel extruded to about here, it would look different. I think this is okay, though. Okay, now well, let's see. Any changes we need to make? I think we're good. I mean, you could put this over here. It just ruins our lines. Like, we would have to put this out one more to kind of match to like bring it out to this part, which is okay. It's not a bad concession. It just makes this deeper. I think it's fine where it is. It's, I think it's fine. It's not the prettiest thing, but um, it works. Plus it gives that whole, like it gives it kind of invisible arc or angle to this. So yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with it. Okay. Let's, um, Paint this up. Oh, I destroyed that by accident. Um, Whoopser. You black poop. All right. Now, oh, we you know what we, we could do is No, let's let's do that in a second. We'll do the details in a second, but I was going to say we're going to paint this entire stripe here black. To kind of give it similar energy as this cross here um but for now let's let's make this purple we could tie it in like this actually no we can't oh we can we? yeah we can no we can't because that's one thruster That's okay. That's okay. I think it's good. Yeah, that's good. Now let's paint these purple. That's weird. I thought this was darker. I feel like our colors changed. Yeah, see? That's... Huh? What What happened to the darker purple? Uh, what?
Huh? Wait, what? Oh, that's right. This takes um, this changes the the wings change the texture as well. So let's pick a good texture for the wings. How about this? It's too busy. They're all too busy. Too busy. Look at that. That's no way. No way. This might look the best. It's even got those glowing purple lights on there. Now this one, though... Should it share the same? Eh, it's okay, it's not bad. Also, we need to switch this to that. I feel it's way too busy still. So I think we just need to do um, plane. There's just too much going on. Oh, dang it. This is not, is rotated incorrectly. You see here, it's different. This one's... <sighs> I was wondering why there's a stripe on here. But that's okay. We can rotate. No, we can't rotate. We can't actually switch the plane of rotation because it's attached to something. Oh boy. Uh... There we go. That's much better. All right. Everything's good. All right, now let's do some detail work. Let's do this. None of that. That. Oops, sorry, no. This. So just this face. Wait. Yes, yes, that's correct. We can also do... This. That's right, we can't do that because it's it takes the entire thingy. Oh, why? Why did this change too? I turned it off. Oh, because it's a thruster, right. There it just does just the, the face. Damn. That's lame. It's weird that the um the thrust the thruster colors change but not the the rest of the uh the asset. Hmm. All 
All right. Well, let's just let's do that then. Can we change the light color? Let's see. Let's try... Now. Alright, that's okay. Can we change this one? All right, not bad. I'm fairly happy with this. It would have been real nice if we could do a, a black stripe like that across to connect the, the wings to the front. But, oh well. Okay, now let's do the final, final touches of little bits. Um, this... I kind of want to change this. But for now, let's just do this. Uh, red, this. Oop. Nice glowy lights, although we don't have any front side glowy lights, sadly. Um, which is why I said I want to change this part. Like, it'd be nice if we could have like front side glowy lights. Uh, how do we do that though? We're gonna mess up this angle, so now let's, let's let's leave it. Let's leave it as is. Um, we could put top plates maybe. Like this. Or sorry, no. Already had it. This. Like that. That looks, that looks a little weird, doesn't it? When it's sticking up like that. But it allows us to do this. So let's do... Oh, we're missing kind of something here, but that's all right. We don't need, we don't, this is fine. We don't need to like add decoration to this, except for, okay, let's look at this. Um, like we could put these little guys here. Um, specifically so we can do this, right, to like match the rest of our design uh, language from the other two ships we, we looked at earlier, but it's not necessary. It does look nice though. We do need two that taper down, so let's look for that. Are there any that taper down? I don't think so. There's none that are thin and long and go to a point. Like this is too large. Same with this. Yeah, none. There's none. Like this will, but they're tiny. See, it doesn't we need one that goes all the way to the end here. And no such piece exists. As far as I know. So we could just keep doing, going with this. It just looks weird at the end here. Or we could eschew it, like we don't really need that. It's just more steel. But 
you know, the player will need to farm up before they can build the schematic. The little headlights look weird. It looks very uh, out of place. Uh, actually, what we could do... What we could do is this here. We do these ones as well, or just these two, the two outer ones. Let's look and see. I think that lends a lot more uh, depth to it. Like all these little weird angles here and there, just, yeah, I like that. I do like that. So let's change up these to plates. Plates gray. Uh, all of six sides. And let's do this. And this. Right? Yep. Oh yeah, that looks so much nicer. Gives him eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I like that, because it kind of matches this energy. You know what I mean? It's not bad. I wish the back was a little more rounded off or a little more angled, but that's this is okay. This is good. I like the shape of this. I like the whole aggressiveness of these lines. Um, we could put something here too. No, we can't. Oh, yes, we can. We can. No, no, we've already used too much uh, materials. This is good. Um, What's the cost here? Oh yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> it's not too bad, 156 iron. Plenty of carbon though. Lots and lots of co copper, holy crap. Probably from all the circuits that are in there. So that's gonna be the hardest thing to farm for. Four titanium rods isn't too shabby. Uh, neodymium is kind of hard too, same with cobalt. But if you know where you're looking, then you'll find it easily. And really, once you get to that point, then you'll be finding... Once you get to the point of leaving in space, like, this isn't too bad. Like, 4, 4 10, and 38 isn't too bad. So... Yeah. 848 triangles. How many? 13.2 mass. 223 blocks. 59 devices. Ooh, we have a lot more. We're going beyond our max output. How do we fix that? Do we need another... Man, that really... I really want to swap this up. I really, really do. Because, I mean, it's not bad. Like, this isn't a bad view. Like, if we had that other cockpit, let's, let's look, let's look. It's not gonna cost us anything to do this. Um. Where you at? Okay, yeah.
Oh, we can't fit it. Let's remove these. I feel like it looks so much better. Problem is this. Well, it's not really a problem, though, is it? Because we can just do this. Oops. Actually, before we change that out, let's do this. Put this here, and then taper it down. I still, again, I don't like that the way that cuts like this. Oops. I also need to remove these. Put steel in there to make it more sturdy. Yeah, I like this cockpit much, much better. We need to move these back. Um, so unfortunately, they won't be in line with these, but should be okay. And reason being is I want... I don't want it to be like a harsh, you know, hit against that, and I want it to... Um... This one? No. This one. Yep. Like that. There we go. So that's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. It better fits to this, um, yeah, like this cockpit looks so much nicer than the other one. Oh yeah, this looks more, more like a combat kind of cockpit. These lines look a little weird now. I'm wondering if this is too much. Like, what if these were back to, but then we have this, like, nice flat area where nothing's happening? I think maybe second-guessing the design now too much. I think we're still good here. This just gives me... It feels off. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Um, we still need this part, probably over here. Um, what was that? <laughs> it was this. So what we can do is do this. Little ramp these. Yeah, that way it's not quite so prominent, right? There we go. 
Now it feels a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, must, that looks much better. Okay. Plates. Gray. All sides. Yeah, that's good. This feels weird. Because again, it should be a three. A length of three for the ramp. But, oh well. Oh well. Oop. Oh, that's a weird face. Because it, like, this should... It doesn't look so great because of its purple. If, if it was gray, it'd be great, but it's not. But nothing we can do, so we're just gonna have to live with that. This joint is also kind of weird. Like I feel like this should just be flat, but then this kind of destroys our thruster look here. Um, kind of want to bring this back one. No. We, mm, yeah, we could. We still could do that. So we'll have to use this. It just won't look superb. Because, you know, it's got that bow in there. Like, mm, annoying. Ah, man. Why can't this game just give us, like, a nice even three three cube line? Urgh. Okay, that's fine. No more complaining. No more complaining. Um, We could do something similar here to kind of cut this edge, but then we'll have parallel mandibles, if you want to put it that way. And I don't know if that's going to look good. Um, all right, I think we're pretty set here. Oh, we need to do this. Uh, this, this. We good. Any more changes? Yeah, I like these lines better. Except for that. Mm. Yeah, these are much nicer lines. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. This could be slanted, maybe, but no, nah, it's all right. Now what we could do is actually put a thruster here in the middle. Get rid of these two and then put the guns in their place. Which kind of cuts our our reverse thrust. But that should be okay, right? Like having our, our reverse thrust cut in like that. Like we won't, we already can't stop as fast as we can move forward. So I don't know. I feel like I do like the shape of this. It's It lends itself very well to it. And if we move these guns in, like we get a more slim front. Also, I want to change these two.
I think what I want to do is oops, do ramp A's. So it's nice and chunky. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Like this. So it's more aggressive along with ramp C's, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I feel like this is much better than these because it's this is too thin. I wish it would just stay there until I asked it to, uh, yeah, anyways. Yeah, okay, I like that better. Because the the black, what the black does is, oh, you know what we got, what else we could do? Is come down again. Like this. that I mean even though the angle isn't right or how about if we put another ramp a here like that no This, though, this gap is odd to me now. But it looks nice. Now, I feel like it's too... Like, both feel abrupt. Like, if this was a uh, V, like that... That'd be perfect, but there's no there's no V in this game, I don't think. Oops. Yeah, there's no like cut V in there. Like this is the closest we can get a notched A, but that's not. Yeah, no, it's not enough. Yep, Sag. All right, let's um, get rid of that. Oops. Okay, that uh, we're gonna have to just settle for that, unfortunately. But yeah, I think this this angle looks much better than the thin ones. Like, the reason why it looks better like this, too, is because the black makes this seem thinner than it actually is. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Pretty happy with this design. Um, again, I wish this was three, three long. But yeah. All right, let's look. Two sixteen block count. Let's 
group up all our devices. There we go. Where's our ammo? I'm not sure which one he uses. Gatling gun. 15 millimeter bullets. Oh, I need. Oh. This guy. Yeah, those lines aren't making me happy at all. Maybe it was in more by one? So it doesn't have this hump here? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think it would be better if it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no. This needs to be... Yeah, that looks a little better. Although it looks short. Grr. Grr. Oh, uh, that's carbon, but... Mm, let me just swap those out, too. This looks a little weird now because it feels like an underbite, but you know what? I think it's okay. It looks decent. There's also a few other paint things we need to do. Um, like here. Let's do a vent. kind of match this whole vibe. We could make the face purple too. Is that too much though? I wonder if this vent's too much too much vent. Alright, let's about this. 
Nope, that's ugly. Ugly. Hey, this, this, this is fine. Um, any, any other bits we need to change? Probably this, right? This feels empty. So let's do... Let's give it a little glowy. How about we do like a kind of an this kind of panel? Like that. Yeah. And one of these, maybe? It's not bad. Um, that feels like it's too much. How about that? Yeah, that, that looks good. Um, let's do something similar to the back here. Let's do... How does that look? Me? Hmm. That's okay. Let's also add a uh, one of these back here. No, I don't like that there. How about this? Yeah, that looks better. Let's, uh, let's add this to the top. Is that too much? Is this too much? <laughs> I think it's okay. Um, no, this is too much. We could maybe add something here. Like, uh, these guys, or these guys? No, it cuts off. Mm, that's weak. Nah, it's ugly. Um, I think that's pretty good. Maybe something here. Yeah, let's do vents here. Uh, this guy? Those aren't bad. All right, all set so far. Let's save it, yeah? All right, let's call this the... Orbis Federation Light Skirmisher? Nope. Too long. Uh, Federation Fighter. Unimaginative, but oh well. That's not the Orbis Federation. This is just... The Orbis is the... No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Too much explanation. It's the Federation Fighter from my... Uh, let's put D. Hmm, wait. Well, let's do Solfed Fighter D. Alright, that works. It's actually Federal Navy. 
So it'd be Sol Navy. Actually, it wouldn't be a Sol Navy, would it? It would be like um, like Federation. Like SFF, like so. For example, like instead of um, HMS super ship or whatever, it's like a so Sol Federation fighter. I think I think Sol Fed. Hmm. Or how about Federation Naval Fighter FNF? That sounds weird, right? It's Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> no. Um, I think Solfed works. Solfed Fighter D. Because it's a Class D. It's a beginner crappy ship. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Dang it. We gotta do... Not that. This. Oh wait, now everything's grouped up, so we're okay. We're okay on that. Alright, so what we can do here is... Sulfhead Fighter D, we need to... How do we change the group name? Right, group name, um, Orbis Industries, the Orb Fed D. Now let's do the SFF here. So we do the Seoul Federation Fighter D. Over right, we're good. Now we can kind of publish this, right? Let's publish to public. It should be our type. Yeah, because, yeah, the cockpit itself is uh, airtight. I believe you can check that here debug, show airtight blocks. Yep, whole thing's airtight. Our center of mass is really good. A little bit forward, but that's all right. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know. What do you think? Is it good? <laughs> is it all right? Is it crap? It's okay if it's crap. Um, I'll probably try and do another one of these. Maybe not a fighter. But like over the course of this week, I'm going to try and build um, a capital ship. By capital ship, I mean frigate, because... Let's turn that off. Um, because anything larger than that is really kind of impossible. Like, here's a frigate right there. We'll go fly up and take a look at it. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, we definitely move faster than we can stop. Or, we can move faster forward than we can... stop. Oop. Oh, we are, like, right up on it. Let's try it again. There we go. Another happy landing. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. I like the lines. We could probably add more greebles on this. Um, like, especially here and here. Uh, probably a few more in the back. Like, down here, maybe. Like, a greeble down here. Or on these kind of empty 
spaces here. But yeah, for now, let's go look at the this frigate, the MS Titan. And I kind of want to create something maybe not quite this large. But certainly maybe something like half the size. So from here to there. So in the book, one of the first frigates that the characters ever get into is a, like a cheap, like cheap, a cheap, crappy one that's been like worn down. It's like decades and decades old. It's um, it to do a lot of work to it to get it to like fly. And I want to kind of recreate that in this game. Like some things we can't have, like a a descending elevator, cargo elevator at the bottom. But we can have ramps coming out the sides. So I think we can do that. You know, so kind of fake a cargo ramp. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what happens. Um, how do you get into this thing? Can I just clip into it? Because like, I'm in god mode. Boop. Yes. Oh. Stuck. Why, why can't I... I can I move? Do I need jetpacks? Yeah, I need jetpacks because there's no, because it's off. Um, no, power's on. Lights. Yeah, I don't know why I can't move around without jetpack, but, um, okay. I have to configure dialogue? What? Is that like a... Nope, never mind. I don't know what that is. Is this anything? Nope. As you can tell, I've never been on this thing. But I do want to cry and try and cry. I want to try and create something along these lines. Why is this chair? Oh, I see it's a screen. What? Oh, but it doesn't actually show anything unless you click on it. It's kind of lame. Wait, let's see. Edit sign content. Oh. I don't know what any of this is. But it sucks that the cap, like you, you're looking at a screen that doesn't do anything. Eh. Could be better. Do it. Go down, please. Down. Down. Oh man, this is janky. Like, why do I need jetpacks to move in here? Maybe it's something I'm doing. Oh, maybe it's because I'm like really don't eat crap. I don't think so. That shouldn't be the case. There must be something that's making me stuck. All right, let's go. Where's the um, station? Yeah, because I could move freely down here, just in there. I don't know. I gotta figure that out. 
But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is try and figure out how to create one of these guys. Maybe, again, not, not quite that large, but something that's like half the size from here to about there. Um, and mimic the, the, the first frigate. Actually, it's not a frigate. It's a corvette. That's right. The first... The first ship, the first big ship that the my characters get is a Corvette, a crappy one, and it's I think it's two two decks. Um, yeah, that should be fun to figure out because <laughs> I don't I don't know exactly what the big ships require. I mean I know like what the little ships do require, but the big ones are gonna need like a huge oxygen tank and all kinds of CPU stuff. I have no fucking clue. I haven't made one ever. That will be the first time ever I would make one. Can't be that complicated, right? It's not like space engineers, which needs a lot more in-depth knowledge. Like this game is a lot more survival based and it's very simple plug and play, quote unquote. So yeah, I like these nacelles. I don't know if they do anything, but the nacelles are cool. Big giant freaking engine. Look at that. I'm sure they use a crap ton of power. UCH002, the Titan. It's down here. Oh, like a vehicle bay? No way, that's cool. And yeah, I guess this is an oxygen tank. Yeah, huge oxygen tank. Giant fridge. Little eating area. Yeah, this is, designing one of these is going to be fun as hell. Bathroom. Wardrobe. Dude. This is a really spacious bathroom. All right. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed watching this. Um, it has been kind of a blast trying to make this uh, vessel, like designing it, putting it together. Like it didn't quite turn out the way I initially imagined, but you know what, this, this works, this is fine, and it looks good. It's relatively fast, it's got decent firepower, and you know, actually let's look at the sulfide fighter D. Yeah, unlock level seven, so that's going to be easy to get. Yeah, copper is the most used, so that's going to be hard to farm early game. But once you're level seven, you're going to have a ton, crap ton of stuff. You have all this stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, it should be fairly decent to get. I mean, especially compared to the Ranger, which is so, so super cheap. This is actually relatively cheap, too. 300 copper. Yeah, like cobalt, neodymium, titanium. They're all pretty good. They're not overblown. I think they I think this should be easily achievable, buildable by level 10. He's good. Anyway, again, hope you all enjoyed and um uh, be sure to sub and follow and all that cool stuff. Uh, check out my YouTube if you want to see some old stream VODs. They, I got all of them up there. I'm going to upload this one today. They'll probably show up tomorrow. Um, yeah, 